Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Mr. Lars and his wife, Mrs. Lars, went to a meetup and met four other married couples. Some people shook hands with each other, but no person shook hands with his or her spouse, and no person shook his or her own hand. Mr. Lars then asked each person, including his wife, how many distinct people did you shake hands with? Each person answered honestly, and surprisingly, each person gave a different answer. How many distinct people did Mrs. Lars shake hands with? And how many distinct people did Mr. Lars shake hands with? This seems like it's impossible to solve, but amazingly, this puzzle contains just enough information. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. Let's start with a simpler case where the meetup has only one other couple, for a total of four people. No person shakes hands with his or her own spouse, and no one shakes hands with him or herself. So the maximum anyone can shake hands with is two people. Thus, each person can shake hands with zero, one, or two people. Now suppose Mr. Lars asked three other people and heard three different answers. That would mean each person gave one of the three possible answers. Therefore, some person shook hands with two people. This would be everyone else excluding that person's spouse. As everyone else but the spouse shakes at least one hand, the only person who could shake hands with zero people is the spouse. This means the people who answered two and zero are a married couple. There is an unpaired answer of one, and that must be for Mrs. Lars. So that means Mr. Lars, how many hands did he shake? Well, he shook hands with the person who answered two because that person shook hands with everyone else, excluding that person's spouse. He did not shake hands with his wife, and he could not shake hands with the person who answered zero. So he also shook hands with one person. So Mrs. Lars and Mr. Lars each shook one hand. We can consider this problem graphically. We have four different points representing the four people. Let's label the other people A and A prime. Someone shook hands with two people. We'll draw an edge if two people shook hands. Now suppose Mrs. Lars answered two. That would mean Mrs. Lars was connected to both A and A prime. But this is an impossible situation because someone answered zero. In this case, everyone answers at least one. So it cannot be that Mrs. Lars is the one who answered two. It has to be someone from the other couple. So let's suppose that A shook hands with two people. Since A cannot shake hands with his or her own spouse, that would mean A shook hands with both Mr. and Mrs. Lars. Consequently, that would mean A prime has to be the person who answered zero. We can then conclude that Mrs. Lars is the one who answered one, and we can also see that Mr. Lars has one edge, so that means he shook hands with exactly one person as well. This is a graphical illustration of the logic just presented in the last slide. So now let's tackle the original problem with four other couples. The meetup has 10 total people, and each person can shake all but two people's hands because they cannot shake their own spouse's hand, and they cannot shake their own hand. So each person can shake hands between zero and eight people. Since Mr. Lars asked nine other people and heard nine different answers, each person gave one of these nine possible answers. That means some person shook hands with eight people. That would mean everyone else in the group excluding that person's spouse. 
As everyone else in the group but the spouse shakes hands with at least one person, the only person who could shake hands with zero people is the spouse. Therefore, the people who answered eight and zero are a married couple. Now we also know some person shook hands with seven people. That would mean everyone else excluding the spouse and the person who answered zero. Now everyone else but the spouse and the person who answered zero now must shake at least two hands. So the only person who could shake hands with exactly one person is the spouse. This means the people who answered seven and one are also a married couple. We can continue this logic to show that the answers of six and two belong to a married couple, as are the answers of five and three. This leaves an unpaired answer of four, which then must be for Mrs. Lars. Consequently, we can also conclude that Mr. Lars also shook hands with four people. This will be the people who answered 8, 7, 6, and 5. We can also see the solution graphically. We'll draw 10 different points to represent all the 10 people who are at the meetup. We have Mr. and Mrs. Lars, and then for the other couples, we'll mark A and A prime, B and B prime, C and C prime, and D and D prime. Now someone in the group shook hands with 8 people. As before, this can't be Mrs. Lars, because that would mean everyone else in the group shook hands with at least one person, and we know someone gave the answer of zero. So suppose someone in the other couples shook hands with eight people. We'll say that A shook eight different hands. Now A is not able to shake hands with the spouse of A, so the only way this can happen is if A is connected to all eight of the other points. The only person who is not connected would be A prime, and that would mean A prime shook zero hands. Now someone else in the group shook hands with seven people. Let's suppose this would be B. B already shook hands with A, and now we're going to draw out six other connecting edges. Now everyone else in the group is connected to at least two handshakes. So who could possibly be the person who answered one? The only possibility will be B prime because that's the only point which has exactly one edge coming out of it. Now someone else answered six hands and let's say that's C. We need to draw four more edges from this point. As you can see from the diagram now, everyone else in the group is shaking hands with at least three people. So, who could be shaking hands with exactly two people? That would be C prime. We now have one more case to consider where someone is shaking five hands, and we'll say that's D. So we'll need to draw two more edges. Now everyone else that we haven't considered has shaken at least four hands. So who could have shaken exactly three hands? The only possibility will be D prime. We now get to Mr. and Mrs. Lars. We can see the one answer of four exactly corresponds to Mrs. Lars, and you can count the number of edges from Mr. Lars to see that he also shook four hands. So this is the graphical way that we can see the solution to this puzzle. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Hallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.